Hey you, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Because if you don't, I will come and take all your cookies. Flight attendants and pilots, what NSFW things occur during your jobs? Used to fly a small commuter plane, 19 passengers, no door behind the cockpit, also no flight attendant, it's really loud so communicating is difficult, hand signals only kind of thing, just took off on a 30 minute flight and a passenger taps my shoulder, which startles the hell out of me because I can't see him approach me and I'm hand flying, turns out he just needs to take a leak, okay no big deal, except we don't have a bathroom on the plane. We do have these gel packs to use though, so I hand him one and go back to flying the airplane. No autopilot. The flight is full and I'm not sure where I expected him to go. Back to his seat maybe? No. Instead I look over to the other pilot, and only inches away from our faces this dude's long wrinkly dick and hairy bush that probably hasn't been kept to in decades. As the guy is pissing into the gel pack, we hit some rough air and urine is going everywhere at this point. On the avionics, both of our uniforms, and my bag. If that wasn't enough, the whole plane saw it. Once he's done, he hands me the gel pack, like I'm supposed to do something with it. Oh no buddy. I hand him some napkins and point to go back to his seat. Mayo, oh, this is hilarious. How much are the tickets for those small commuter planes by the way? It's a shame you can't have something like a cargo net against the door opening. Then have them lean out and take a whiz with the cargo net making sure they don't fall to their death. Bonus. Some passengers may pay extra for this experience. I think if you manage to pee on both pilots and the avionics, you technically own the plane now. I'm pretty sure it's an FAA rule. Father was a commercial pilot. He has lots of stories. His most what the FNSFW story was probably having to deal with a lactating woman. Breastfeeding her cat in coach. Titties for kitties. This is the second time I heard this so far. What the F do people really breastfeed their cats? Not totally on topic, but I fly a lot for work. And one time I walked to the bathroom as a flight attendant was walking out. She saw me heading in right after her and said, Be careful, there's a bomb in the bathroom. I think it was a nervous reference to her having just blown up the toilet. And she quickly realized what she said as I gave her a perplexed look walking into the bathroom. She pulled me aside as I walked out, and apologized profusely probably knowing she'd have lost her job if someone less understanding had heard it. Well don't leave us hanging. Did she put a bomb in there or what? I too easily understood what she really meant and completely missed the possible terrorist interpretation. Not a flight attendant, but I work for an airline. And my team receives all the incident reports for what happens in the airplane's airport. Some of the incident reports that came in were so shocking. Every summer we'd have multiple incidents of people having sex on board, in their seats or in the bathroom. That's pretty standard. But here are a few of the most notable ones that came to our team. 1. A woman breastfeeding a kitten, refusing to stop. Yes you read that correctly. No I'm not kidding. 2. A woman who exposed her breasts completely and ran up and down the aisles. 3. Drunk man attempting to molest a woman beside him by pretending he was asleep and touching her falling into her lap. Really dude. 4. A woman on a red eye flight asked to stop masturbating. No blanket or anything. Just her and her whispering eye out for all to see he flight attendant said in her report that she didn't make eye contact. But told the women everyone can see what you are doing and we need you to stop. The women was so embarrassed. Gave a panicked sorry and stopped fine. This happened at the airport. But it's my favorite. A male was using the airport washroom and then a fully naked man comes crashing down out of the ceiling right on top of the man using the washroom. The naked man scrambled and climbed right back into the ceiling without saying a word. The man using the washroom was in complete shock and told one of our managers that we have a problem in the washroom. I howled at that. Security and the police couldn't find this guy for the longest time. But when they finally did, he was a homeless guy living in the ceiling. Still naked when they found him. He got in because of the construction at the airport. 
My sister was working at the airport when this happened and the incident report came from the head of security. I giggle every time I think of this I've had so many WTF moments working in my department. I truly can't believe some of the things that happen. I thought you were going to say that they never caught the guy. And some airport somewhere has a naked man scuttling about the roof like a deranged golem. How did number 4 not realize everyone could see and understand what she was doing? As a flight engineer in the AF flying out of an island in the Pacific, a sailor had fallen overboard and drowned. The Navy recovered his body a few days later. Since this is downrange, only a body bag is available, not a transport casket. Before takeoff the loadmaster comes to the cockpit screaming, yelling and babbling. He says the body in the bag is wiggling. Turns out eels have entered his body via his mouth and are wiggling within his body and causing the movement. Holy. F that is so disturbing. Alright I'm tapping out. Not me but a friend who is a flight attendant who came across this really stubborn male passenger who wanted a sanitary pad that he saw the flight attendant hand over to a female passenger. Convinced that it was an eye mask thing do you put on before sleeping. Arguing with her about it. She finally gave in and gave the sanitary pad to the guy who coolly removed the anti-adhesive and stuck it on his eyes and went to sleep. He probably realized about halfway thought this argument and decided to tough it out rather than lose face. That's hilarious. I wonder what he'd have done if the female passenger had asked for a tampon. Best example of just give the customer what he wants to shut him the f up. He just wanted to go with the flow. A couple of our boys were on the return leg of an offshore crew change. 15 minutes out from the deck, they catch movement in the back. One of the passengers has unbuckled his harness and is getting up out of his seat. Big no on a helicopter. But before they can do or say anything, the guy grabs an airsick bag, drops his dax, positions the bag under his bum and lets rip. The bag lasted maybe 3 seconds. Explosive does not do this bout of diarrhea justice. Volcanic might not. If I hadn't seen the photos, I wouldn't have believed it. It coated the floor, his seat, the seats beside it and the poor sods in them. Splash the windows and ceiling and row of seats behind. Shit. Everywhere. And the smell. The real kicker is that, even though they are only 15 minutes from the rig, they couldn't go back. If they did, the chopper would be stuck on the deck until it could be decontaminated by a cleaning crew. There's only one deck. So we'd have to send a second helicopter out to winch down said cleaning crew. A dangerous and expensive operation. Meanwhile, everyone due to come off swing in the next few days would be stuck on the rig until we did. While there wouldn't be enough beds in the town for the incoming crews. And the nature of the rig is such that it can't fully operate while there is a chopper on deck. Literally millions of dollars in lost production. One dude with a rumbly tummy he didn't tell the rig medic about because he was just that keen to get home. And several hundred people are, potentially, right up shit creek. So, they take one for the team and push on. Tell the culprit to sit back down and put his harness back on and pray for a tailwind. Two hours flying back to base. It's Australia, tropical and summer, and commercial helicopters don't have great aircon. The smell gets worse, and worse, and it's not helped when some of the guys have to use the sick bags for their intended purpose. By the end of the flight, the pilots are all but flying with their heads out of the cockpit windows just to breath, and have given serious consideration to landing as soon as they were over the mainland, or any land. When they finally got in, it was approaching swamps of Dagobah level stank. Never had a disembark that fast, and you'd better believe the pilots did shut down in record. There was a queue for hoses. When the engineers started to do a damage assessment, it was even worse. That shit was runny, and grainy, and found its way into every crack and crevice and bolt hole. The seats nearest to the guy were literally soaked in shit and puke and it was in the life vests and cabin raft. There was even splash in the cockpit. Everywhere. We had to fly in a specialist cleaning crew the kind that normally does crime scenes and fully strip and dismantle the cabin down to bare fuselage. In the end. The guy's seat and the seat of the guy to his right were so saturated, so caked and stained and soaked with his shit that we had to write them off. Tens of thousands for replacement, plus more in maintenance and lost flying time. The guy in that second seat, sat there, coated head to toe in his seat mates shit the entire flight without moving or saying a single word. 
would the damage be smaller if he just shat his pants? I feel like I did this story justice by reading it while shitting. Nobody on here has asked to see the pictures. Not safe for life man. He guy in that second seat, sat there, coated head to toe in his seat mates shit the entire flight without moving or saying a single word plotting his revenge. Edit. Wow. This blew up. I went away for 6 hours and came back to the highest voted comment I've ever made. AMA request for the guy in that second seat. What kind of zen mind control would you have to hold it together through that? Having a really, really tough 30th birthday today. Life isn't so great. But reading this made me laugh. Thanks. I'm sorry but nothing. I repeat nothing. Can be swamps of Dagobah level stink. That story has haunted me since I read it. This is the single greatest and yet also the worst thing I have read on Reddit. I was a flight attendant for 6 years. Summer flights to party islands like Ibiza, Mallorca and Mykonos could get quite raunchy. Like women boarding in fishnets, wanking and blowjobs at the back of the aircraft. Edit. By fishnets I don't mean just tights. I mean full body fishnets. No bra and the skimpiest thong you can imagine. And that's just the airline staff. I remember last year there was headlines because a guy was banging a girl in his seat, with her on top, on a wire in a Manchester Ibiza flight. Turned out he was cheating on his pregnant girlfriend into the bargain. Edit. Source actually his fianca. Wanka. Brits have no sense of decency once they leave the mothership. Edit. My top comment of the week is about pissing on the Brits. I have revenged for Choda. From the UK. Right. Like women boarding in fishnets. I did airport security with flights going all over Europe. We could guess the destination by who was in fishnets. Ladies in fishnets was Ibiza. Dudes in fishnet was Mykonos. My wife and I bought last minute tickets to a family event and could not get seats next to each other. Once we boarded, I convinced the guy sitting next to my wife to switch seats with me. Nice guy takes my assigned seat, which was next to a woman who was apparently suffering from the flu. Five minutes after takeoff, she projectile vomits, but tried to use a pillow to cover her mouth, which just made the vomit spray out sideways, all over the poor guy. He just sits there for a moment. Frozen and the slowly turns back to look at me with this face that said, You did this to me and I will forever hate you for it. I offered to buy him a drink but he ignored me. It was a 6 hour flight. You did this to me and I will forever hate you for it. That sounds like the origin story of some super villain. That's amazing. Should have told him. At least it wasn't diarrhea. Why didn't she use the bath bag in the front seat pocket? Holy fuck. Did you buy a lottery ticket? My worst fear on a flight is that someone's going to puke on me. Air sickness would be one thing, since it's not contagious, but a stomach bug. I will run screaming for the nearest exist and jump out of the plane. I was on a flight to China. One of the passengers up in business class decided to take advantage of the unlimited drinks he was offered before takeoff. He got plastered. When the plane started to take off, he decided to take a sleeping pill to tide him over for the 14 hour flight we were about to endure. Well, shortly after takeoff, the guy decided he needed to use the bathroom. He ventures back to where the stalls are, but shoots past them. He walks about 3 rows ahead of my row, whips out his member and pisses all over the row and the people in it. They had to move the passengers, rip out the seats, and monitor the guy for the rest of the flight. Whatever happened to him, I have no idea. I'm just glad he didn't hold it in for 3 more rows. The ambient walrus strikes again. Fars in China don't know how to cut people off. I was on a short domestic flight in China and the guy next to me obviously pregained pretty hard and continued to order drinks throughout the flight. Just as we were landing he pukes all over me and just offers a slurred sorry and that was the end of our interaction. I used to work as a baggage guy, loading and unloading planes. On our planes, we had to put the passengers pets in a small area in the front belly compartment. We had an inbound flight that had quite a few pets on board. When I opened the compartment door, I was hit with the most gut-wrenching dog shit smell. Once I was able to see through my watery eyes, I saw one large dog kennel pressed up against a small kennel. The idiots that loaded the plane put both the kennel's front gate ends together. 
The larger dog must have pressed its ass up against and shit through the gate because the little dog was covered in shit and in the corner quivering and whimpering. Trying to explain and apologize to the little dog's owner was one of the hardest and funniest things I've ever had to do. So how safe are those pet compartments? I'm always a bit nervous when I have to leave my poor girly alone and terrified with some random guys who probably don't give a shit. Are they well taken care of or do they get the luggage treatment? Flying for 5 years as an FA. 1. Not on my flight. But a man took a shit in the middle of the aisle and wiped his ass with the curtain that separates the business cabin from the rest of the cattle too. Had a rather large lady come up to the galley and ask me to help her fix her bra strap. As a female I obliged and figured it would be a quick little hook job. No. She took off her shirt. Her tits hung in my face. And I had to stretch her bra around her back and clasp it up. I should mention we have cameras in the galleys. So the pilots got a nice little show free. Had a 21 year old male come to the back galley. Puked all over it twice. Then proceeded to projectile vomit on the aircraft door before heading into the lab and then puking again. There were two of us in onboard hazmat suits cleaning it up. While a lady is demanding for a cup of water for. A man had explosive diarrhea which flooded the lab and soaked into the carpet down the aisle. Had to divert because of the stench 5. It was moderate turbulence. Some pretty bad bumps. So everyone. Including the crew had to be seated. A mother had her son piss in an air sickness bag and hand it to me in my jump seat. This doesn't even include the shit you see on layovers. The list goes on and on. Edit. Since some people were so offended by the use of the word cattle. A passenger actually came up with this term years ago before I was even born. To emphasize how airlines. Not crew. Try to herd you all into tiny little spaces. Do you think we enjoy watching a 7 foot man struggle to fit inside his seat? No. We didn't make the seats. Not was it our say to make everyone agitated or uncomfortable for 2 plus hours. I always try to accommodate larger passengers and always recommend people stretch or move around. Just let us finish our service and you can have the entire aisle galley to move. A man had explosive diarrhea which flooded the lab and soaked into the carpet down the aisle. Had to divert because of the stench. AMA request. The guy who pooped an airplane out of the sky. Thank you for your service. Can you imagine being the guy who shits so bad he can take aircraft out of the sky? I don't know if I would be proud of that or embarrassed. Life gives us some tough choices sometimes. Hey. You made it until the end. We are best friends now. Like this video. Hit the subscribe button. And remember. If you don't. I'll come back and take all your cookies away. See you in the next video.